Hello there, Ray here, and the full release for 1.13 is out, with a lot of new features and content to play with. But before you guys head off and play with the new stuff, I want to go over some major bugs that still exist in the 1.13 version. This list of bugs was made with the help of many people, including the people from Eigencraft, Technical Minecraft community, as well as the ProTech members, and you guys, the viewers. So I'd like to thank everyone who tried to make Minecraft a better game for the future. And as you guys know, I've been playing Minecraft for 9 years, so this game means a lot to me. Before I get into the 20 major bugs that are introduced in 1.13, if you see a bug that is not in this list, be sure to tell me down in the comments. A really big bug is that observer cooldown is broken. Here you can see that this clock is putting a lot of updates into this observer, and it constantly is taking in new updates, and it's constantly putting out power because of that. Normally it would take in some input, and then wait until the output first leaves before taking in more. Moving through the world will gradually use up all your memory and cause your game to start to shudder and eventually crash. Normal pistons now will spit out their blocks similar to sticky pistons when given a short pulse. You can see what this looks like with this being powered back and forth. This bug has to do with excessive amount of lag that is created by placing a block near complex models such as fences. And if you look, I have my F3 screen up, place a block down here, you see the huge spike every time I place a block near this. Uh, let's just go to normal area and place some blocks. You can see it doesn't really do too much. Can get somewhat big spikes. You can notice how much larger this spike is when I place blocks up against this. Water log trap doors don't update properly, so we let the water out. Then we close again. You see the water is still flowing here. And only when you destroy this water source and then update that one will it be removed. If the trident is thrown by the player and then the player accidentally dies, then the player won't be able to pick up the trident. This could cause them to pretty much lose their tridents. When tree grows, observers won't be able to detect the update when the uh, trunk block is placed in. Opaque blocks at the top of a subtrunk will not increase the world height, and therefore no mobs will spawn here. So something like this spot right here, no mobs will be able to spawn on top of this. When upgrading from 1.12 to 1.13, the light level underneath of overhangs that are in a different subtrunk than the overhang will not update. Zombies that pick up items and then later turn into drowns. Then when those drowns are killed by the player, they will not drop the items that they picked up. Therefore you can lose all your gear that they picked up. Coordinated math errors causes structures not to generate, which could cause a lot of problems in your world. Minecarts behave differently than in 1.12. You can no longer place buttons and levers on some types of blocks, such as like pistons on top of hoppers. This is quite strange because um, as you know, mobs can actually spawn on top of pistons and hoppers. A lot of times people try to avoid this by placing the buttons on top of hoppers. When loading a structure that has observers in it, when the structure is placed, it will power the observers. As you can see, it flickered. Using a bucket of lava on a kelp will cause the bucket to empty and nothing else will happen. Sponges cannot remove water from conduit. Flowing water over top of fence gates no longer moves entities as it did in 1.12. As you see here, it stops. Fire charges that are used to ignite TNT are used up even in creative. When the ticks per second are low, it's possible to create ghost blocks. And I just have a clock up there that is moving block back and forth, which is creating a lot of updates down below. If I just press this button, we can sometimes get ghost blocks to be generated. There you see it. They change the way that villagers would detect houses, and this breaks current iron farms. This next bug will probably be noticed by the cavers, and this is because in 1.13 there is less dungeons in the world. Chunks aren't being decorated properly. This is still in pre-10. As you can see, there is some leaves here that don't got snow layers on them. There are chunk generation errors in root forest biomes. As you can see in this little chunk, there's hardly any trees here. Drowns that generate with the ocean runes will never have nautilus shells or fishing rods or tridents on them. Now I want to take this time to also point out there is some bugs that were introduced in 1.12 and before that are still in the game in 1.13 that are pretty bad, such as hopper duplication can still occur over top of chunk borders. The chunk-wise entity list often doesn't get updated correctly, which can cause entities to disappear. The server watchdown will shut down servers when it hit a threshold, even though the server is alive, just running really slow. Fires that naturally generate in the nether can cause chunks to permanently load and cause extra lag. Now that 1.13 is out, we'll be looking ahead at the version 1.14 and seeing what changes come with it. I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think should be the next big push in Minecraft? What do you think is needed and what do you think is missing in Minecraft that they should introduce in the next few updates? 
I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and if you know somebody that's playing in 1.13 and is not aware of these bugs, be sure to share this with them. And if you guys have any suggestions, please tell me down in the comments. Bye-bye!